I was once a member of your fraternity. It was on 20th of July 2019 when the Honorable President then, Sri Ramnath Kovindji, signed my warrant, a serious name in legal parlance, appointing me governor, state of West Bengal. That brought to an end my tryst with the jealous mistress. I duly painted the jealous mistress ever since we came to be married. The lady on my right had learned to live with the jealous mistress, but July 20, 2019, which happens to be a birthday, was a day of relief, reprieve for her. It was on that day, Neil Armstrong landed on the moon 50 years ago. I vividly recollect my days as advocate, president of the Bar Association, member Bar Council, and as a senior advocate, in modesty I can reflect now that I was extremely happy with my professional career. It has been a journey I don't think I'll be able to live again. It was marked with rare success. I can say so since I'm not a member of the profession anymore to become president of the bar in about five years of practice, to win bar council in less than 10 years, and to be designated senior in less than 10 and a half years would be anybody's envy. Had the occasion to be involved with litigation in the country and outside, but all was below the radar of the law firms. I missed my interaction with the law firms for one reason or the other, and the only exception here is Mr. Lalit Basin, who engaged me, perhaps for the reason no one was keen to go to Udaipur. That's it. Dr. Lalit Basin. President, Society of Indian Law Firms. Sri Sardul Sarof, Senior Vice President, Society of Indian Law Firms. I respect you more than others. We both are Vice President. <laughs> Sri Jyoti Sagar, Associate President, Society of Indian Law Firms. Dr. Bina Modi, Ma'am, I'm not a member of the profession, but I'm grateful for all that you have done. Main donor for the SILF building, distinguished members of SILF, distinguished audience, greetings to all of you. At the outset, I extend members of the Society of Indian Law Firms and invite to visit the new building of parliament and Chai Parcharcha at the Vice President Enclave, the first dedicated premise for the nation's Vice President around the same time as this building is being inaugurated. Congratulations and compliments to the SILF for coming up with the excellent building I'm fully aware of the area. Much needed one, and at a good location, Dr. Lajit Basin has avoided taking name of the mark, Deen Dalupadhyay Marg, am I right? The location is in good neighborhood, and there is no politics about it. I mean Indian Bar Association office adjoining. Friends, indeed an honor for me 
and happy occasion for all of us to be part of inauguration of the Dispute Solution Center building of SILF. I can say without fear of contradiction, SILF, an umbrella organization of great credibility of law firms in a country that is home to one-sixth of humanity. It is thoughtful of self-management to have its own premises for setting up a center for legal policy, research, continued legal learning and legal aid with a special focus on dispute solutions, including settlement of disputes in the spirit of Samjota. And mind you, friends, this concept is deeply embedded in our civilizational ethos. I realize the importance of an organization having a building of its own when I went to attend a function of a library in Kolkata and the function was centenary years, centenary year celebrations. They didn't have a building of their own. I was stunned. A very credible organization. I took a modest initiative like you all, city of Kolkata has enormously talented business persons. They came forward and before I could be drawn to Delhi in my present capacity, that building came up. So very thoughtful for you to have a building of your own. And we, be, we Indians in particular believe in a deep sense of ownership also. In this case, the ownership will be literal and figurative. Friends, going by contemporaneous technology impact, and that's changing day by day. Mr. Shroff referred to it. And trends in judicial governance, you all are aware more than I am. There is enough scope for a center of this nature to contribute. It has the potential, because I know most of you, your talent, your exposure, your expertise, your commitment, and what you have created. So you have the potential to emerge as a valuable think tank, particularly in the domain of lawmaking and law administering. I express my anguish and pain that Rajya Sabha has gifted senior advocates as members, I wish they would contribute to legislation making. But this center will catalyze a big affirmative change. It is bound to be a place where global best practices of the bar and bench can be considered and disseminated. For a simple reason, you all are aware of, aware of them. You don't have to learn, you have only to share. Friends, the center can befittingly be an epicenter of much needed affirmative change when it comes to adoption of new mechanisms and technology in your core competency domain. We lack in this direction. Much is being done, but enough is yet left to be done. The three organs, the judiciary, the executive, and the legislature are performing commendably and catalyzing the unprecedented rise of Bharat, generating an upbeat mood of hope and possibility, something we've missed for far too long a period. Drawing global accolades, we never had them. I was first elected to parliament in 1989. I was lucky to be a member of the Council of Ministers. I, I know the scene then. Precious gold of this country, once known as Sonia Kichidia, had to be airlifted to be pledged to two Swiss banks to sustain our fiscal credibility. So what now we have is accolades from World Antarctic. And for what? Our exponential development and continually incremental economic trajectory. And mind you, it is in the face of global headwinds. 
difficult terrain. The three new laws, the Bharti Nyaya Sahita, the Bharti Nagrik Suraksha Sahita, and the Bharti Sakshe have unshackled the Indian criminal justice system from its colonial legacy while keeping the focus on justice rather than punishment, traversing from Dan Vidhan to Nyaya Vidhan. I reiterate, we had distinguished senior advocates, Mr. Chidambaram, Mr. Kapil Sibbal, Mr. Tulsi, Dr. Vishak Singhvi, Mr. Vivek Tankha. I wish they had spared time to participate in the proceedings of the upper house, the house of elders. I wish they had discharged their constitutional ordainment. That platform they did not realize. And it is the television channel that channelizes the responses. Your center can bestow attention on this. Friends, another significant development for Indian legal landscape to which Dr. Lalit Basin had made a reference in the Mediation Act 2023. I can assure you, it's transformative legislation. It will change the ground reality. It is a big boon to the people who suffer for want of timely justice. It enhances the mediation process it streamlines dispute resolution and promotes the use of mediation as an effective means of resolving con conflicts. We can take pride. The Delhi High Court had one of the very successful mediation centers. It came to be well adopted by other high courts. Mediation is highly impactful. I had a stint of three years as a member in the International Court of Arbitration at Paris. And it was there. We had a mechanism evolved. ADR, Alternative Dispute Resolution, was no longer ADR for us. It was Amicable Dispute Resolution, which means you do not get a judicially enforceable package, but you do get the assistance of top people in the domain who can understand your dispute, go into the nitty gritty of it, under a structured mechanism of ICC arbitral mechanism and give relief to the parties. I'm sure this center will take note of all these things. SILF, by virtue of its membership, is duly unable to give cutting edge in promoting swift resolution of commercial disputes Friends, there was a time when Indian law firms had no recognition globally. I was once involved in early 90s in resolution of a Boeing dispute. And the lawyer I was interacting with was Ted Sorensen. I thought I must discuss with him how a good law firm can emerge in India. I therefore went all the way to New York went to his office. If I'm not wrong, it was in Penbridge building. Since we had resolved an intractable situation, we had become, become friends, though separated by age difference. He said, are there law firms in India? I can say now with pride, India has law firms of great repute, global recognition, and we have come of age consistent with our parliamentary size, and now economy. Time for these firms now to converge, take a call, bring about the kind of dispute resolution to which Mr. Shroff had advocated in the manner which is best in the world. Friends, dispute resolution mechanism is of critical importance. I need not indicate to you. You know it more than I do. It has Im impact beyond economy. It has impact beyond social order. And therefore, in any society that cares for peace, harmony, and growth, it is a high priority. 
a credible and robust dispute resolution mechanism nurtures harmony, contributes blossoming of economy, and certainly adds to democratic value ingredient. Friends like disputes, the forums for dispute resolution are money. Disputes are varieties for the forums, from courts to statutory tribunals and commissions. For the moment, and given the present background, I seek to restrict myself to the arbitral process. There is a perception, and a perception we all agree, perhaps, that our arbitral dispute resolution mechanism adds one more tier to the conventional litigation ladder system. Friends, I have said T-A-T-I-E-R. -T -I, -E I have not said T-A-A-R, because that would not be in singular. That will be in plural. First, we have award, then objection to the award, then an appeal, then we have a strong tendency and urge to invoke Article 136 of the Constitution. Framers of the Constitution had put this article for a narrow slit window, but now the wall is demolished. It is being invoked massively. So that is invoked. And it doesn't end there. There is a constitutional remedy of review and judicially created curative petition. So, taken together, it can't be more arduous than it is at the moment. Chief Justice Chandrachul's concern that the arbitration space in India resembles, I'm quoting him, so that I may not be misquoted. There's a strong possibility of it. So friends, I'm quoting Chief Justice of India, and I share his concern, but credit goes to him. He reflected, arbitration space in India resembles an old boys club and next, what he said, you can give testimonials for it because you have footprints beyond our national frontiers. And what he said was this, no one in the world is arbitration in such a tight fist control by former judges as in India. And this, friends, underlines the ground reality and coupled with it, the pressing need to reform the system. I have no doubt you can't perform without reforming the system. Your center can do the job. An individual cannot bring about systemic change because the individual is vulnerable to being taken on. But institutions are spinally strong and therefore institutions can really resolve certain issues and institutions are collective wisdom of a particular domain. Friends, it is equally imperative and high time we have a strong database of arbitrators drawn from wide fields, engineering, space, oceanography, infrastructure, aviation, space, sports. We have enough human resource in all these domains. And the kind so that quality of decision making by way of arbitral process is enhanced imparting credibility. A dispute is complex. To understand and appreciate it, you need to be beyond legal nuances. People who have lived in a particular domain are well suited with your backing to impart an award that will immediately find acceptance. Friends, examining and analyzing the issues in dispute resolution from a global perspective can be taken up by the research center. I would uh, indicate a small incident while I was in the court at Paris as a member. 
there was ICC arbitration clause. The issue was raised by an Indian party, and the issue raised was ingenious. That the clause says in accordance, not under. And therefore, in accordance means we will have in house mechanism to be in accordance with your procedure. But we are not yielding our jurisdiction to you. Similarly, let me narrate another incident. Uh, I was involved um, with a global commercial arbitration with one of the public undertakings uh, taking on a Brazilian giant for coal in Australia. Now, we have, while drafting uh, arbitration clause, party autonomy domain perhaps is escaping us when it comes to fine tuning. So the place of arbitration was Paris. Uh, New Delhi. So when they said they will have an attorney from UK and another from Australia, I said under Indian law, arbitral process is a judicial proceedings. And we do not have recipro reciprocal arrangement. And therefore, it will not be in fitness of legal situation that these lawyers can assist us. Professor Lawrence Bu, if I remember the name correctly, was the arbitrator. He took note of my objection and said he'll have arbitration at Singapore. My team was aghast. Loud and clear place of arbitration was New Delhi. They said we must challenge, I said no. Professor Lawrence Boo had been with me in the court, a man of very sound discretion and deep learning. When I saw the entire clause in the Arbitration Act, you'll be surprised we had invoked party autonomy aspect only for subsection one, not for subsection three. And therefore, you could do it. So these are the fine tuning which your center will empower youngsters so that they can come of age. Friends, these significant issues require systemic addressing if the nation has to emerge as a credible, recognized center for global dispute resolution. Let us make no mistake. We are not at the moment in the global room of arbitration. You have seen rise of arbitration centers in Dubai, in Singapore, in our recent years, we have not had here. But we are a nation, friends, natural home to credible arbitral institutions. And why? Given our rich human resource, unprecedented exponential economic upsurge, and most important, what arbitrators look around, cultural depth. However, to secure place in the global ecosystem, we have to strive more. We have to strive further. We have to act in concert. And that can fructify only when centers like this act, catalyze situations. Friends, SILF and other stakeholders, and I'm so happy to notice that SILF is magnetic to the extent assistance from other stakeholders is required. Industry, commerce, and trade associations, they must converge to work towards evolution of an institution or institutions that can be at par with similar global outfits. It is not an occasion for me to reflect that we have two institutions, one under the Ministry of Commerce, another under the Ministry of Law. They may be doing a good job, I'm not fully aware. But when it comes to global benchmarking, they are yet to make their presence felt. Friends, our rich human resources are a facet of governance, be it in economy, policy making, justice dispensation, and this is bound to be very healthy for us. Our rich human resource contribution is not limited to our geographical area. It dots the entire globe. Towards achieving this looks, uh, a 
look at the statutory mechanism in the domain of arbitration becomes priority and imperative. I wouldn't say much on this for the constant of time. But the entire world was made aware of arbitral mechanism by NCTRAL. A model was given. Reflect for yourselves, 1996, we had an enactment and so did the UK. Where are we? How many changes we have undertaken and what changes have they undertaken? This research center, this body, can really be an eye-opener for the parliamentarians, for those who are engaged in legislation formulation. And mind you, we are living in times where these bodies are open to ideas, extremely receptive to these ideas. All we need is participation. I had lamented a while ago, lack of participation by distinct, distinguished legal luminaries running away from their constitutional ordinament, no discharging their public duty, I would say. Monday and Friday, I would never see them in Rajya Sabha, at least in the early hours. I seek some kind of guidance from you people to see that at least they are disengaged for their parliamentary work when the parliament is in session, particularly on Monday and Friday. Friends, Present times are most soothing, wholesome for evolution of this mechanism. There comes a time when things can blossom. Mali That ritu for Bharat has come. This is the time of Bharat. The world recognizes it. And this is for the simple reason that for the first time Indian economy is having heyday in spite of global headwinds, difficult terrain. The economy negotiated Difficult terrain has risen from fragile five a decade ago to be amongst big five. Let me give you a small situation. In 1991, when I was there in parliament, and you'll be surprised, stunned. Most of you are youngsters. The size of Indian economy was less than that of cities of Paris and London. That was our size. You'll be further stunned and surprised our foreign exchange was negotiating the track between 1 billion and 2 billion US dollars. Already we are ahead of Canada, Brazil, Japan, UK, France. Jap Japan and Germany will overtake in the next two, three years. And that is why India is a hot destination of opportunity investment. We are getting accolades from IMF, World Bank, World Economic Forum. We don't need. They are just only reflecting the ground reality to which this nation has come. Now, friends, with this growth, with this rise, huge investments will come to India, are coming to India, and commercial disputes are inevitable because they arise more often than not, understanding of law in a different fashion or there being different perceptions. But it is the role of arbitral process. The contending parties to arbitration do not walk out as enemies or adversaries. They must come out as friends who can further get into business relationships because you are not settling a dispute. I am so happy to take note of the word solution. You are providing a solution by making agree to each other points of view, by yielding part of it and part of that. Friends, the present scenario in Bharat is absolutely ripe and taking shape as regards investment and opportunity. There is exponential growth in economic activity. In natural course, we also need to have a larger mechanism of dispute resolution because there will be facets of it. Who knows it more than you do? Sit in any court, Supreme Court or High Court, there will be a designated bench. When you find nomination of arbitrators, you'll know the dispute amount, the complexity of it. So you'll have to have wide areas where resolutions can take place fast. Friends, there have to be effective mechanisms to resolve disputes and for enforcement of contracts. 
In the absence of remedial steps, investments and business transactions may slow down. For example, India is a big hope for the world. But unless we sustain it, there are other countries waiting in the wings. Take, for example, affordability of our human resource. Vietnam is not behind. So those are the situations we, I count myself as one, though being formal, as legal professionals, a mechanism to serve our nation. There is need to put in place centers of excellence and at several places. These centers should provide a sense of confidence among the business communities. And this is where the law firms come into picture. No one is better equipped than the law firms. And the good part is that our law firms have high credibility with the captains of industry, business, trade, and commerce. And therefore, they can catalyze a big role for all of us. Friends, arbitration as a mechanism of dispute resolution has to keep pace with modern technology. We like it or not, disruptive technologies have made inroads in our office space, in our workplace, and they define, we don't define, they define how we'll be acting. Artificial intelligence, internet of things, machine learning, blockchain. There are technologies that are to be harnessed to give cutting edge to judicial dispensation, to give quality to arbitral process. The assimilation of data can be at unimaginable speed. Your research can guide youngsters in particular to avail of these opportunities. Friends, time for industry, legal fraternity, and all of the stakeholders in arbitration to work in unison to ensure that our country has a flourishing regime in this field. All the steps be taken to make it attractive. It can't be stressful. It can't be adversarial. I have been involved in certain arbitrations and I can reflect now as being one time senior advocate. Uh, we in this category happen to be, as most call us, the most exploitative breed. But if you look around in the world, you'll find very distinguished category of lawyers are standardized. But in our country, we follow the age old practice. Haldi lene aap dukan par gaye, dukandar ne kaha. पूछा हल्दी का क्या भाव है दुकानदार ने पूछा चोट कितनी गहरी है वी हैव टू चेंज दिस सिस्टम डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज यू हैव लर्न टू लिव विद इट वी आर रिकॉन्साइल्ड दैट दिस प्रैक्टिस इज गुड वी आर नो लॉन्गर एंगर्ड बाय द एक्सप्लोइटेटिव अनएक्सप्लेनेबल चार्जेस आई एम श्योर यू हैव अ लुक with the introspective mind at this minute also. Friends, undoubtedly, convergence of law firms and business entities will pave way for the silk building to take lead in ease of dispute resolutions. And why not? Legal profession owes this to the country as its professional social responsibility, and business owes this to further strengthen the economy of this country. Let me remind you, friends, in our freedom struggle, lawyers played key role. This is no less than freedom struggle. This is a struggle to take this nation at, 240, at 2047 as a developed nation, as a global leader. You are the ones who can really script the marathon march to 2047 and replicate the role of lawyers that was there during independence movement. <clears throat> I have no doubt in times to come India will have the occasion to offer the world a dispute resolution mechanism and center of repute. I have fancied for a long time. <clears throat> Every time I was at Rajmohan, Kolkata, 
from where the British has ruled for a long time. I remember my days in Paris. I found city of Kolkata was nowhere lacking. It had culture, it had everything, it is human resource and an ideal place, one amongst many in this country, for an arbitral center. Friends, I know Mr. Basin for a long time. We have worked together, he being in the lead. He is known to contribute in creating nursing institutions. He doesn't leave midway. He handholds. It will be, in a sense, a, bit, a fitting final to his efforts. He must need a transformative change is catalyzed from this platform. And we see emergence of credible global institution center in Bharat. I have great pleasure, friends, in inaugurating the SEAL building. I have extended, I reiterate an invitation to you to visit the new building of parliament and chai per charcha at the new vice president enclave because there are issues everyone knows, issues so critical for the system that we can't speak to ourselves by looking in the mirror. I will avail the opportunity at Chai Par Charcha to discuss that also. I am sure Dr. Basin will bring it about sooner than I expect. Thank you so much. It's a great opportunity for me. Thank you.